Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So finally I am playing with the Solstice palette from Ether Beauty in full for you today. So this is what the palette looks like and like I said before, I think it's one that a lot of people will really like. Um, I think the Amethyst is my favourite out of all three that I've got. But I know not everyone likes to wear colour, likes to wear purple. And so I feel like everyone, unless you're someone who doesn't really like warm tones, because these have really rich warm tones in them, I think a lot of people will really like this palette. Um, if you like the slightly more colour tones, then maybe go the Rose Quartz, but it is a much softer kind of palette. Um, but yeah, this is beautiful. I've had a few plays with it already and I absolutely love it just as much as the amethyst one as well um although i just just prefer purple just a little bit more um but yeah so i'm going to create a look using this palette today so i hope you enjoy so if you're interested then please keep on watching so i'm going to go ahead and prep my eyes with the lily lola eye primer as always i'm going to start off with a really dark matte color which is this one here called sister I think it's how you pronounce it, I'm not 100% sure. But it's a nice, dark, rich brown. I'm going to take this on a blending brush, pick some up. And I'm going to start packing this onto the outer portion of my lid. So I'm going to blend out, I just want to lay down that colour first. And just like the other palettes, you will get some kickback in the um, pan. But you don't need to pick up too much and just be quite gentle. And it will give you a really good pigmentation. Okay, I'm going to take the exact same brush. I'm going to go in with the shade Balance, which is this matte brown here. Fix them up, and I'm going to use that to start blending out this darker shade. And you'll see just how warm these colours are. They actually almost come out much warmer than they look in the pan on the lid. Very slowly. Blend this out. I'm not bringing it too high up because I'm going to take another colour to do the further blending. But I'm just going to slowly do this. Okay, what I'm going to do now is switch to a fluffy brush because then I can actually get the blend properly going. So this is the uh, shadow base shadow brush from Real Techniques. I'm then going to go in with the shade Sol, this one just here. I'm going to go ahead and really start buffing this out. And then what I'm going to do is take a really, really fluffy brush, this is the E40 from Hands Pure, going with this shade here, which is called New Moon. This is the lightest matte of the shades of all, and I can use this just to go over everything and make sure it is nice and blended. Okay, then I'm going to take some of Energy just down here, which is kind of like... I feel like it's got a shift of purple running through it. It's kind of almost the opposite of this one, like a shimmer version of this one, but a hint more like a little bit of purple running through it as well. So I'm going to take it on the shading brush, because I think, like I said before, shading brushes work well with these shimmers. And this is going to go on the outer third of my lid. And just make sure I buff that in a little bit. Okay, 
Then I'm going to go in with Ruby, this beautiful kind of reddish toned metallic on the shading brush again. I'm going to go more in the centre section with this one. So I'm going to build up a gradient across the lid with these more metallic shimmer shades. One thing I did notice with this one, I don't know if it said on the packaging if there was a duochrome in there, but I haven't noticed a duochrome really. This one does look brown in some lights, purple in the other, but not like in comparison to um, the Amethyst palette where it had like some definite, obvious duochromes. But nonetheless, these are beautiful metallics. And then I'm going to pop the shade that I've used so much recently, which is the shade Amber here, which is just beautiful. This is going to go right on the inner third. I'm going to try and use as many shades as possible with this look, just to kind of show off the palette. I think you can definitely see it's a beautiful palette and like I said I think a lot of people although the amethyst is my favourite because of the purples not everyone likes the colour so I just think this one a lot of people will really enjoy. I can be a bit more ruby just to make sure that shade's not lost in the middle here then what I'm actually going to do is take some of um, Sol this matte one here and just go over these edges of these metallic shades just through the crease area Okay, for the lower lash line, I'm going to first of all, on a pencil brush, take some of the very first shade I use, um, Sister, here, the darkest matte brown, and run this along my lower lash line. So I think I'm going to go quite dark with this lower lash line. I'm just going to go ahead and just quickly buff that out. Shading brush, I'm going to take some of the dark purple in this palette, Intrinsic, this one here with a slight shimmer on the shading brush, and I'm going to pop this onto the outer portion of the lower lash line. There's a nice pop of shimmer there. I'm going to take some shade of Solstice, this one just here, which I said, like I said, some likes it looks brown, some likes it looks purple, but it's not like an obvious. Um, Duochrome. I'm just going to pop this on this bit here. I have got a little bit of fallout which I will sort out in a second. Okay, then for the very inner portion, I'm going to take the shade um, Citrine, this one just here, which again I've used in videos before. Uh, it's a perfect kind of inner corner. Highlight. There's a little bit on the brow bone as well. Oh god. Okay, gonna load up my lashes with the Lily Lolo Big Lash Mascara. And then I'm going to give two lip options, like I think it could work with a nude and I think it could work with a red really beautifully. So I'm going to take the Benacos lip line in brown to begin with as my nude option. And then go in with Lily Lolo Au Naturel. Here's the nude option with it which pairs beautifully with the eyes um, I think because there's a slight golden hue to the Au Naturel it kind of complements the goldenness in some of the eyeshadows as well um, so I think that works really beautifully but I do want to pair it with a red lip as well just to see what it would look like and I think it would look really nice red option going back across a red lip line this time And 
Chanel Benacos Lip Lipstick in Catwalk. that is it with the red lips so like I said I think it works both beautifully with both kind of lips it depends how festive you want to go with it whether you want to just keep nude or go for the red lip as well and um, I think both equally work beautifully with it. so like I said before I really think a lot of people will enjoy this palette from Ether Beauty a lot just because it's got the neutral tones they're really rich and warm so like I said if you don't like warm tones then obviously you won't but I just think it's kind of got all the colors that for an everyday look and an evening look people would really enjoy and I just think a lot of people would love this palette and Ether Beauty is definitely a good quality brand to try out for sure and actually they just released brand new highlighters so they've only been an eyeshadow palette brand to begin with and like the Amethyst one is a very new one I think the Solstice is quite a new one as well but they have yeah like I said they're now bringing up two highlighters which I did pre-order so I'm intrigued to see what they are like um as you know, I love my Lily Lolo ones, but I'm always intrigued to try out new things. So those will hopefully be coming soon-ish. Um, but yeah, this is this video complete. Like I said, I really love this palette. The colours work so beautifully together. It's so easy to blend. The metallics are absolutely beautiful in this palette. And everything just works so beautifully. So I think if you're someone who likes cool toned, soft looks, go for the Rose Quartz. If you love your purples, obviously get amethyst, but if you're someone who really loves the rich, brown, warm tones, then the Solstice palette is for you, and like I said, I think it's a really beautiful palette, and a lot of people really like this one. Um, so yeah, so that is this video complete. I really hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed the look I created. Please let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Um, if you have this palette, let me know your thoughts on it um, and stuff like that. Leave any requests for any future videos down below, and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.